Hi there. Today's video is on the difference between the uh, Asian jumping worms and the uh, red wigglers. Now, I this is my third take on this. <laughs> it hasn't been working very well. Uh, this guy here is a red wiggler. This guy here is a jumping worm. Yeah, this isn't working very good either. Uh Trying to look through the viewfinder and doing this. Okay, so differences. This is the red wiggler, and he's uniform color from mouth to tail here, but whatever. The jumping worm, however, they're red up to about here, and the rest is kind of a a gray. Uh, I don't know what to call it. Let's see if I can get more on the color here. Kind of gray, almost translucent at some point when they're really teeny. But the color is not uniform with the jumping worms opposed to the red wigglers. See? Here's a contrast. This is a red wiggler, and here's the jumping worm. And it's hard to pick up on the color here, but there's a definite difference. And this red wiggler is its almost reproductive age. And this guy here is only three weeks old, or thereabouts. They grow really fast. Uh, I've never seen one, an immature one before. Usually by the time you discover them in your garden, they're six, seven inches long and flopping around like goofy. And what I did is I took some soil from my infested bed last fall, kept it in the basement. Soil temperature down there was about 52, 54 degrees. And I brought it upstairs here where shot up to like 67 degrees and that's when these guys started hatching out now this here again is a red worm uniform color and this guy here is the jumping worm and again he's got the head part the mouth part is kind of red and the rest of the worm itself is kind of gray or as I said, translucent. And the thing about, I only took like two gallons of soil, and the bed it took I took it from was 20 by 8. So I have potential, and with and I found 50 worms in that that bucket the other day. I counted them. I had 50 uh, jumping worms in that two gallons of soil, and. Uh, so that equates, if that couple gallons of soil is about a square foot of garden space, that means that I can have, I'm sure I have at least 8,000 jumping worms in that bed. Probably a lot more because it, uh, the soil in that bed is about 16 inches deep. So. Potentially, there's a lot more jumping worms than 8,000. Uh, and then this guy here is a baby, teeny baby uh, red wiggler, and I just wanted to bring him out here if he lets me. Come on, baby. There you go. That bug. Ah. I put some toilet paper in here to cut the glare down, but. Uh, it's more work than it's worth. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but you can see on the, uh, this, uh, the tail of the red wiggler is kind of yellow. And the tail on the Asian jumping worms is not. It never is. 
there again this guy's kind of extended you got the red tip and after the head part after where the clitellum is going to be it's all this kind of pukey gray and here's a red wiggler and he's uniform color from like I say from the mouth all the way down to the tail and uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that in that two gallons of soil not one red worm in there at all and I've heard that they emit some kind of chemical that uh, pushes out the other worms or kills the other worms I'm not quite sure so but that and that bed used to be just full of red worms uh, I used to keep compost in there over the winter and keep the, the worms were alive all winter the, the compost never cooled down and uh, had tons and tons and tons of uh, red worms in that in that bed and not one hatched out yet and uh, I know they all hatch out at 50 degrees whereas the Asian jumping worms did not so so anyhow I hope that you can see this there's quite a difference Another thing, you can't really tell it here because these are about the same thickness as the uh, this uh, red wiggler. But the jumping worms are th basically thicker too. I mean this, like I said, this red wiggler is almost reproductive age. These guys are three weeks old. Uh, they're not going to be reproductive for another, uh, I suppose it's temp dependent on temperature, but... Uh, until they get to be about six seven inches long so they got a ways to go but they're the jumping worms are more robust they're they're wider they're thicker than the than the uh, red wigglers so I hope this is informative um, but I think I can actually see the difference in these guys better with the toilet paper there so alrighty well I that's about it. So I hope everybody's doing well. And until uh, next time, have a good day. Bye-bye.